Hi, welcome to F Class Community Channel. My name is Matthew, and welcome to part two of your F Class Community tip regarding strategies to take to your first F Class match. The first part was covered, uh, if you haven't seen the video, is just linked up above, uh, which includes the center hold and dialing in your windage on your scope. The second part is what I'm going to cover right now, which is the hard hold. Basically, what it is, and what some people would call it, is like Kentucky windage. It's basically a hold off on the estimation or your determination of your windage on the target and without adjusting your scope. And what you do is you hold off left or right on the lines or in, even in between the lines in order to shoot your, your group for score. So for example, you have half a minute of wind. And as we know, from the center line to the edge of the, the ten ring is half a minute. So what you would do is you would, again, like part one, is line your horizontal crosshair on your waterline and then you would put your vertical crosshair on the half minute mark or your estimation it could be you know uh, one minute or two minutes out and de depending on the wind and you would hold your crosshair at that location and you fire your shot and what will happen is if it is a left to right wind you estimate half a minute, the wind will bring your shot back to the center of the target. Now there are pros and cons to both the center hold and this hold off method. Uh, however, a lot of team shooting, a lot of, of, of the higher level shooters utilize this method because it's very rapid. You don't have to go to your scope and dial in and check if you're your windage is correct or even even if you dial in correctly and how much you dial in and by that time you dial it in the conditions could change so what ben, what benefits you have with this methodology is that you're always in your in your rifle you're always in your scope so you're not you're not changing your position all too much to make those kind of adjustments but mind you you can make those adjustments on the scope in the center hold However, there's always a moment where you would either lift your head or divert your eyes to your scope turrets in order to make that adjustment. So w even within that change or, or that time spent in terms of dialing in that information on your scope, the wind could change. W using the hold method, what happens is it gives you that little bit more quicker response to the wind. You can see you're in your scope, you can see the conditions change immediately and make adjustments as you go. So let's say you have half a minute of wind, however you see the wind flags pick up and what you would do is slowly work your way up, you either using the mirage or using the wind flags and determining how much windage you're putting on uh, just by hold, holding off. So you're, when you're holding off, you're not adjusting the turrets on your scope. And a lot of what a lot of new beginners make the mistake of is that they're holding off and dialing in that information or that uh, additional windage on the scope. And that's one of the negative parts of this, this method, is that you could run out of areas to hold because you're holding so far off to the target because of the high winds that you don't have any point of reference in terms of how of where you're shooting. You could be holding off onto the edge of the, the target itself. So this method, in terms of some of the, the cons, is that you would you will run out of out of an area to hold if there are high winds. So you would need to either adjust for that on your scope and continue to hold off in the same location and, and put that adjustment and taking that adjustment off. So for 
for strategy wise one of the benefits is that it gives a little bit more flexibility or, or leeway in terms of your judgment if you get guess half a minute of wind however it is actually one minute of wind it will catch the opposite side so you have about half a minute of error holding off uh, for example so your, your judgment may not be as accurate you'll have a little bit more room for error have the ability to score a higher score using this technique so if you have any questions regarding the hold just to reiterate and just to summarize this this is you're holding off you're holding your horizontal line on the water line and adjusting uh, your physical crosshairs on the, on the left or right side of, of the target depending on which way the wind is coming and you would give a value in terms of minutes of, of hold off to to that wind and holding off in correlation to the rings that are are on your target so for example and again half a minute you would hold half a minute off and and you would shoot that so hopefully this helps you as a, a, a part two of the strategy as, as something to take to practice something to take to the range for you to re, uh, review and put in your your toolkit this methodology is used by a lot of teams uh, in terms of, of team shooting where you have a coach and a shooter in position and they're giving the calls out to the uh, competitor the coach is get, get giving calls out to the competitor to how much they should hold off in order to get onto the target so what what they would call out let's say there is a left to right wind if it is a quarter quarter of a minute they would say of left wind they would say left one go on left two and that they're, they're holding on on the two ring left two and a half so they could be holding halfway in between or even a quarter or left three left four and it goes on, on in terms of what the rings are in terms of expanding out to the edge of the target so it goes goes the same for for shooting uh, uh, towards the right with the right wind right one right two right three right four etc etc so hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight a little bit of what team shooting is all about also and, and also wind calls and, and how you would call that out in, in your own head uh, and, and determine determining the wind uh, that you have on the range so this is matthew with f class community channel this is your f class community tip hopefully this uh, is a technique that you can bring and practice your range Again, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for, for taking a look at and taking the time to, to look at these videos. So please hit the subscribe button and uh, the bell icon uh, to get the latest information from FCOS Community Channel. So thank you. Keep an eye on the flags and tight groups.